What's up guys? So this is an Android TV box and uh, what it basically does is it turns your old TV set into a smart TV meaning you'll be able to watch movies on Netflix and all the other um, streaming platforms and it's not only limited to movies you can also play games on the TV box and a, a lot of different uh, applications can also run on this Android TV box. There's a video on this channel that We'll educate you on all the operations or all the things that you can do with the Android TV box. We'll leave the link in the description below. So if you haven't watched that video, just go down there in the description and watch that video. It will educate you on all the things that you can do with an Android TV box. Now, let's talk about the business of the day. For you to be able to use the Android TV box, you have to buy it first. But remember that the electronic market is also filled with smart TVs. So why not just buy the smart TV? Sounds uh, pretty obvious and reasonable to buy a smart TV, right? Well, it's not. And in this video, we are going to look at the reasons why you should go for the Android TV box. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And if this is your first time here, be sure to go down there and click on subscribe so that you see all our future videos. In South Africa, you can get a good Android TV box for just 800 rand. But a good smart TV will cost you about 3,000 rand. And remember, this is just a small TV, a 32-inch one. So by merely looking at these figures, you can see that buying an Android TV box will be much more reasonable. Unless maybe money is not a problem to you, but I'm sure a lot of us here do not really have full pockets. And considering everything that is going on in the world right now, the pandemic, the lockdowns, our incomes are being affected directly and indirectly. So save some few runs, buy an Android TV box and you'll be okay. And number two, smart TVs come with pre-installed applications. And most of them do not allow you to install more applications, but an Android TV box does not have any restrictions. You can download and install any applications that is on Google Play Store. Well, some people may argue that uh, the apps that come pre-installed on the smart TV are enough. Well, for some people, uh, they might be enough, but um, remember there are different regions and different countries. And you see that applications that are common in the UK may not be common in Africa or maybe in Asia. So the Android TV box will give you the power to choose the applications you want and you install. So that's another reason to buy an Android TV box. Number three, smart TV operating systems are not dynamic. Well, most of them, you rarely get updates and they are more likely to become absolute. But our TV box runs on Android operating system that is upgraded frequently. However, when buying the box, check to see the highest Android version it can support because some can only be upgraded, say, to Android 9 or Android 10 only. A smart TV might be able to do what an Android TV box offer, but not at the same speed, performance, and responsiveness. You are more likely to face buffering issues when you're using a smart TV than on an Android TV box. The Android box is capable of delivering a better performance from opening apps, navigating and running intensive applications. And number five, the Android TV box is a better Google integration. The Android operating system is a Google product, so it will run smoothly with other Google products like Google Assistant. And most Google certified boxes come with Google Assistant pre-installed. So this will be a very big plus. For a fair comparison, let's also look at the other side of the coin, the cause of getting an Android TV box. When using a smart TV, you only need one remote for the TV, but with the Android TV box, you will need an extra remote. And to some people, this is a very big factor to consider. And with a smart TV only, all you need is installing it on the wall and you are set. But with an Android TV box, there is need for extra space to put the box. And that might not go well with your current setup. So that's another negative of getting an Android TV box. And remote integration is also another factor that affects some Android TV boxes. For example, if you're using the MXQ Pro box, you will see that the remote that it comes with does not work well with a lot of applications like Netflix. So that would be very annoying if you have a box like that. So looking at all those points, I'm sure you'll be able to make an informed decision. And if you've decided to get an Android TV box, check out the video with the top Android TV boxes for this year. We'll leave the link in the description below. So just go down there and check that video before you do any purchasing. And also, we'll leave Amazon links for your convenience. And as always, guys, please like the video if you've liked it. Otherwise, see you on the next one. Ciao.